Greetings, everyone out there. This is Pixelbane for my rename show, Pixelbane Plays. This is the second episode, and I'm going to be playing some Dungeons of Dreadmore. If you were one of the two people who uh, ended up watching my previously named series, I played some Dungeons of Dreadmore. I'm probably coming in a little strong, so I'm going to lower my audio a bit. But anyway, hopefully that helps a bit. I lowered my audio a bit. Um. I played some Dungeons of Dreadmore. I got pretty far. I played, if I recall correctly, on Going Rogue, Permadeath, and I got to, like, floor 7. So I was pretty close, and then it ended up crashing on me. But that video is gone forever because I made the mistake of not saving the video. I know. I trolled myself so hard on that one. But today I'm going to play for maybe a, an hour at this point. I was I tried starting the stream up earlier, but... Uh, Apparently, since I don't have the full version of XSplit, I can't run my Yeti at its full setting, so I had to lower that, otherwise it doesn't detect the microphone. But enough about that. We're going to get to Dungeons & Dreadmore in a bit. Before that, you can see my email up there, baneofpixels at gmail.com, and my art blog, pixelbane.tumblr.com. You can send me uh, questions, suggestions, stuff you've made. Um... Just about anything. If you make it made some music and you want me to play it when I'm AFK, I'll play it when I'm AFK. If you have some art, I'll check it out beforehand. And if I think it's pretty sweet, I'll put it up there with your name and whatnot. Yeah, anything. I'll promote anything you guys want. I'll give you shout-outs if you want. But right now, it's just me in the archives because I only got zero viewers right now. But without further ado, let's play some Dungeons of Dreadmore for an hour. All right, hopefully my audio isn't too loud coming from Dungeons of Dreadmore. But let's get this started. This pot is started. A new game. I, I'm only playing for an hour, and I want to go as far as possible, so we're going to just go on easy. No time for grind, and if I'm going to be playing this character, hopefully not dying, I want to get as long as much possible out of it. Let's go permadeath, because that's how I play at this point, because I've already beat it on hard. I mean, there's no point of beating it again on hard, unless it's permadeath. What do I want to play as? Oh yeah, they just released the new expansion, so that's why I'm playing it. Um, I played some of the classes already, and I have to say, Egyptian magic near the end gets pretty overpowered. So I'm going to be going Egyptian magic. The only problem is you have a lot of active abilities, and you need to have some mana regen. So, tourist, most of the moves suck ass, but it gives you health and mana regen just starting off. So I'm going to pick it just as a placeholder at this point because I have my basically my main damage dealing already um let's go with we need more mana regen so we're gonna go with lay walker we want to do more magic damage so we'll go we'll go with magic training um what else like I was thinking about going flesh smithing because they changed it around in this I don't know when if it was a content patch when they did this or whatnot but they changed it. You used to get Meat Shield at level 1, which gave you health regen, which I, which would be pretty cool. But instead, they give you uh, Zombie at the beginning, which might help me out, because early on is where I'm the most weak. Excuse me while I get a drink. Alright, I'm going to debate on Flesh Smithing. Hmm, they added Daggers and Pole Arms, which I could go. Or... I, Vegan is really nice because you don't have to deal with any animal class characters. And if you go flesh smithing, your zombies can attack them and you won't get a penalty and they won't attack back. It also gives you nice health regen and it gives you holy damage at the end. So I'm going to go that. Um, what else could I go? And I, I kind of want to, but at the same time, I really do, I'm going to go Viking Wizardry because at the very beginning, you get the Thor Hammer move. Uh, Thor's Hammer, what I, I don't know what it's called, but it gives you, I think, some lightning damage. So, that should help. And I think I'm going to go actually get a weapon spec. So, maybe... Pole arms. Yeah, why not pole arms? This seems like a pretty, pretty stupid spec at this point. Like I was going magic, and then I kind of just got deviated off in the end. So, uh, 
I hardly actually play the original guy anymore, so what am I gonna name him? Let's name him Pixel Bane. Yes. All right. Hopefully everything is going okay. Like I don't even I, doesn't even look like any of the audio is actually from the game is transcribing. So, oh well. I'll just have to, I just have to talk constantly at this point. All right. Let me move some of my action bars around. I'm gonna move you there. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I got enough mana regen to keep up Glyph Glyph of the Asp, which will give me, as you can see. Uh, I don't even know what it is. Is it putrid? No, it's not putrefying. It says, I think it's just toxic damage. So it gives me toxic damage, and this gives me two lightning damage. So it's pretty good. Um, they also changed it, I'm pretty sure, now that if you're not specced with a weapon, it doesn't, you don't get, like, the negative debuff for it. It's just that you don't do as much. See, this gives me two piercing, but at the same time, it gives me, like, minus two dodge and minus two crit. So even though piercing goes through armor and it gives me a total of three damage, I'd much rather just place this here for now. It's also an easy, and I've noticed the game. Okay, when they released, um, you get to name the expansion. It got really easy, like hard, or like going rogue was incredibly easy. But I've noticed with this one, they upped the difficulty back up because I guess it, it was just a little too easy. I'm gonna go straight up with Lay Walker at the very beginning. So I can just get that stuff like as soon as possible. I gotta remember I'm a vegan, so that I can't attack these guys. And I have auto loot, and I'm just picking up stuff that I can't even eat. But I'll sell it later. Sword, it gives me asphyxiation damage, two piercing, so a total of five damage. Uh, let me hold on. It gives me a total of five damage, but I lose two critical if I'm right. That's critical. No, enemy dodge reduction. But I give me two piercing, so I get like basically three damage that goes by armor uh, I think I'm gonna equip it so that I have more v oh god damn it see this is the only problem with going vegan you get into the situation where you just gotta keep pressing the wait button until one of them decides to move like now I'm just like stuck there waiting to get by oh that was just a waste alright now I'm over here excuse me excuse me yeah, I'm one-shotting. Yeah, just just as I was saying, they made it harder. Yeah, like it's really easy. But I also noticed that um, they up on easy. I'm pretty sure they up the chances of like magical items just popping up because like I've gotten more magical items at the first floor with the new expansion than I have ever gotten like in an entire like fucking game on hard. But like or even easy. Like I've, it would take me about like four levels to get any of the amount of magical items that I do get. Hopefully I'm rambling not too... I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I just got off work. My mind's kind of melted. Just trying to keep the conversation going. And I just picked up the sapphire so I can sell that. I'm also on easy things sell for more. And you have to buy, you buy them for less, so that's good. I like the encrusting system, even though I haven't even touched it yet, because every time I've gone to crafting class, I... Uh, die like instantaneously because I decided to go on uh, going rogue. Well, not instantaneously. That, that, that's, my skills aren't that bad. But I die pretty quick like on like the fourth floor around... Oh, shit. Oh, thank God it dodged. I did not want to get fallen vegan. Oh, shit. I should have remembered that whenever there's like an item in this situation... Oh, might as well eat some tofu. Tofu. Oh, some loot fisk. I haven't tied loot fisk in a long time. I remember freaking out the first time I played this and I found the Herodric loot fisk cube. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. So dumb. It's like a lot of the jokes, but they're dumb amazing. I love all the little homages to other things, other games, other pop culture. Can die, you piece of shit. Piece of shit! I don't know how I'm gonna handle my persona in this uh, series if I'm just gonna scream and. or just try to talk somewhat knowledgeable. I mean, I've played my fair share of video games in my life, so I'm pretty knowledgeable. I'm not, not, not retarded. So, I don't know if I should create a persona or not yet. Doesn't really matter at this point. It's likely that I might get one archive 
viewer of this video, so it's not too bad. And the only downside to vegan, well, there's a shit ton of downsides, but one of the main downsides is that you really gimp yourself out of XP. Because you can't kill a good portion of the starting floor monsters. Next, the, bo the floor, that's, I can't speak, floor 2 is mostly undead, so you got that, to, that going for you. But this first floor, so many diggles, and you can't kill them. And they added the bees and the ravens. There's just so many animals that you can't kill, and it, on any harder difficulty, it's really, really, really difficult to get enough gear or levels so that you can handle the following floors. Excuse me again. Mm -hmm. I should play a game. I was already asked to play. Uh, why do I think I can do that? I have like no, no trap sight or anything like that. I should stop playing dumb. But I was asked to play uh, Daisy for uh, the Arma mod, which I kind I really not kind of I really do want to play it. And is that I don't have the money to buy it at this point. I, that's a magical item, I'm pretty sure, and it is. But it's a dagger, and I don't I'm not expecting the daggers. And when you're not expecting the daggers, it's kind of useless to use them unless they really out tier your equipment. I gotta remember I'm pole arms but it doesn't really matter until like later in the game see these are my two favorite right here uh, I got a little message from someone on Steam uh, these are my two favorite uh, laywalker ones so I'm gonna go and get channeler and then stop at invisible geometries um, cause it's not really useful and then I think I'm gonna head over and max out Egyptian magic it gets really really powerful when you can activate all the glyphs and then use sandstorm but you have to make sure that you have plenty of mana regen. Otherwise, you're just gonna so many active mana abilities. You're gonna drain your mana pretty much instantaneously. And I, if I fall, if I get a fallen vegan, I'm pretty sure I'll die, or I'll lose all my mana at least, unless I turn off all those abilities. So there's so many downsides to playing vegan. And it really, really only really pays off <sighs> at the uh, end of the tree when you start getting a lot of holy resistance and a lot of holy extra damage. Like, I think you get, let me see, five damage? Yeah, you get five holy damage. And you have an aura that will, like, will blind enemies on a chance when you hit. My second time I played a vegan spec um, I was the first time it was a complete joke second time it was a complete joke too I thought it was completely u oh shit see this is what happens when you don't pay attention I was even just talking about it but like the first time I played I thought it was absolutely retarded because I wasn't really paying attention that you can't attack the animals I don't know I was, I was being dumb you probably can hear me just tapping the fuck away at my spacebar um, but yeah, the second time I played it on uh, Going Rogue, not with Permadeath, I beat it. Like, I was, I was blown away. That it, it just, It's pretty damn good. My spec, I think, was uh, Vegan and Demonologist. So uh, you, at the end of Demonology, you start getting a lot of... Uh, me, almost done. Start getting a lot of uh, minuses to... Uh, Righteousness, but in uh, vegan you gotta get a lot of righteous resistance, so it pays off. They synergize really quite well, and they were introduced at the same time, so it makes sense if they synergized well. I gotta pay attention. I can't fucking just attack shit. Still no viewers. Huh. Not really surprised, cause I haven't posted a video in about a week, so. God, like I, most of the times I just like look at this and I just don't actually read it because they're always those stupid fucking names but okay so I gotta kill this monster just gotta defeat him and get the artifact and I gotta return it to the monolith okay and he's way over there so I'll go get him later now, why am I even picking up reagents and I don't really know oh cause my last spec I played I was a tinkerer so, and then I went with, uh, I don't know, whatever the newer spec is. I can't remember that relies on tinkering skill. It's like the steampunk guy. Oh, what, what do I want to enchant? 
Uh, sure, why not? I get one caddishness. I'm a pirate. Even though that's not even what I want to have. So thank you, game, for giving me caddishness. You're so kind. I'm not even paying attention to my mana. I need to. I don't know if I'm losing it over time or not. No, I'm gaining mana. God damn it. hate these situations. But I mean, close to the guy, so. And they also, I've noticed they added uh, enlarging things, but, like, who needs it that large? Like, it's... Like, like the inventory gets so big, too. It's like... What's the point? Like, if you're like that blind... Fuck. I knew this was gonna happen. Shit. Does this push him away? I can't remember. No, it's over. I just fucking lost it. Unless I find some stairs. And I did. Found oh shit. Damn it. This won't level me up, but it'll give me a lot of experience. Yeah, I'll just eat down here, level up, and then go back up. Gosh, why did I do that? Like, I sometimes I just like think it's right click means to just pick up. Uh, potion of stealing. Monster Zoo. Fuck. You shoot. You shoot me. Like, once the game starts freaking out like this and has a really hard time loading. You know it's a goddamn monster, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, if I leveled up through Egyptian magic, it wouldn't be a problem at all, but I'm not in that yet. I'm still leveling up and farming here. What the hell is down here? Oh, it's sickly. Dude. Can't even, it's like some green shit. I'm really confused. <sighs> I'm really sick of all these diggles. Maybe I'll actually be able to kill the guy, it's just that I gotta not just be dumb about it and you can't counter me all the fucking time. Wait, what the? Did he change? He changed color. He changed fucking color. How the fuck do you counter that? Okay, it's over. He's gonna use a ranged move on me, and then, yep. God! Of course, I have to get. A fucking genie, like, that early in the game. See, the game can be pretty hard. You just get bad luck at times and not spec properly. Hold on, let me handle something right now. my microphone working yeah okay my microphone is now still working i hope it doesn't give me shit again 
That was... I'm taking off my fucking glasses at this point, because that was fucking disappointing. Like, really fucking disappointing. I should have just stayed stayed on the fucking second floor. If I stayed on the second floor, I wouldn't have had this problem, but I probably would have been killed by the zombies, because I didn't have any gear. I was, just, I was even saying there was a lot of a lot more magical gear, and there was. It was all weapons, though. I got a dagger, a sword, and if I believe, uh, I picked up a aluminum tube that was magical, but I didn't even look at it. That was frustrating. Very frustrating. Uh, no time for grind. I only am going to be on for maybe like 40 minutes, so let's make the best out of this. Good, good enough to me. This is going to go random. It's, did I just misspell random? Did I... I don't know. I typed it in so fast. No? It's random. Okay. I don't even know what I have. Okay, so I got Flesh Magic, Necronomics. Necronom... I, I know it's Necron... Economics, but fucking... Necronomicomics. Whatever. Fucking, I'm just going to say Necronomicon, motherfucker. Okay, so smithing. This character is so fucking spread out. Okay, so I'm going axes, dual wielding axes, or really probably just gonna actually go dual wielding axes. Flash magic, necronomics. Oh, man, you get fucking weirdiggle. I don't even know what I'm gonna actually end up leveling up first. Fucked his shit up. Also, they f they fixed it so that you can't cheat it anymore. Like in like the general sense, you still can cheat it, but like, see, you can't place it on his thing, so it's kind of and you can't just place it on the floor and leave. So it's very frustrating. Not frustrating. It's just that why I don't understand why you can't why you can't do that anymore. Uh, whatevs. I'm not a vegan, I gotta remember that now. Oh, fuck, and I... I don't think I'm gonna level up. Cat ears, sweet, great. Got some cat ears. Also, what I love what they did is they added a pocket dimension, and you probably can't hear it because my music's so low. Let me pump this up. Probably still can't hear it. But the music here is totally reminiscent of the end of time in Chrono Trigger. Like, it gets... I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. That's why I have those light posts here. Make it look like the end of time from Chrono Trigger. Oh, and I realize now time actually stops. So that this doesn't take down. And I guess that means so you can't cheat it and just go here every 30 steps so that you can get health. Yeah, this part. See, like, if it, it's so Chrono Trigger, and it makes me so happy that, like, it literally made my day when I got, and I heard that. Literally made my day. Just watching, uh... Mind. All right. What do I got? It's my highest. Might as well. I don't even know. Oh, sweet. I've actually helped out a lot. I got two transmuter damage. Now, I don't think I'm going to be starved for, uh, for uh, experience here. Uh, I guess there's that as a bonus. I could play my other Egyptian magic character that I have, that I have saved, that I got pretty damn far. Like, right now I'm still, like, I, I'm on Going Rogue, Permadeath, and I'm on floor 6 with her right now. So, pretty far with her. Why is there a zero? Like, I don't understand why. Does that mean... I don't get it. I'm confused. It doesn't detract. It doesn't add anything. Why is there a zero? Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it be. I'm gonna leave it be. I'm not gonna go crafting because I don't want to... Like, I don't think I'm gonna go burliness, but I should probably. I don't even know. I don't even know. Ugh. 
Okay, what is the icon for? Okay, so that's just, it just gives me one HP. It doesn't give me health regen, and that's, that's lame. That'd be really cool if it gave me health regen. Um, I might just go... Fuck it. I'm gonna go fucking straight diggle the entire fucking time. run, I can eat cheeses and meats and the dire sandwich so that I don't have to worry about what I eat because I'm not a vegan. Motherfucker's gonna die. Motherfucker's gonna die. Don't you fuck with me. Fuck you. And, uh, fuck you. And fuck you. Yep. That works. Dual wielding, so might as well put that there. Look at all this damage type. Nothing safe from my wrath, motherfuckers. Keep that motherfucking door open. I still gotta figure out how to like instantly. And it's even. I didn't even see that. That was even a smithing recipe. Yeah, Asgardian stone, storm hammer. So that's Thor's hammer. Cool, but. Not hammers. So. I can encrust things, but not that. But I can encrust things, so that's pretty good, I guess. Just gotta level up the encrusting. I'm not encrusting. My smithing, but I'll do that later. I'm going straight wear I don't even know what that ability does. I'm not even paying attention. Oh, How do I have all this like nimbleness and like trap? Sight is terrible. I can still get these guys out. Look at all that experience. I'm gonna go actually go see what the fuck I just got. It's a power up. What is this one? It allows me to go invisible. Lay an egg. seem like it's that good. Like, I played with it before, and I didn't even think I maxed it out, or one one away from maxing it out. And it didn't seem all too great, in the sense that you like, always limited to, like, only a few steps. Like, it makes you stronger, but, like, for the amount of investment, I don't know if it's really worth it. The spear, wow. I'm piercing too fresh in versing. Uh, that gives me trap affinity. I was able to get those guys. I was able to try to get the traps out of here before I move some stuff around. Fuck it, gonna die. Also, like, I added this a while ago that your gold pickup range is larger, which is very nice of them to do. Okay, okay, okay. Also, I don't have any zombies because I'm not paying attention. I keep forgetting that I have these other abilities. And I got myself a zombie. I'm gonna level up. Heroic vandalism. Heroic vandalism. I don't want it. Like, it's so... Ugh. I might use that move once. Probably when I use it, I'm probably going to end up dying anyway. Because if I need to use something like that, I'll use it too late. When shit has already hit the fan, and I need to be more careful where I'm all fucking walking. I'm not paying attention at all. What do I got on right now? I got a bloody curious. Curious, 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 curious. Thought it was magical, but it wasn't. Iron Mace gets a total of six damage. 
don't have any offensive maneuvers with this. But I get a bonus straight off the bat. Like it says it gives me two slashing and one necrotic, so it just doubles. So that gives me a total of five damage. This gives me six damage. It is better, I guess. I mean, total six damage. One better than the other. It's a floppish tunic. Badass magic. Sweet. I won't make it. I'm not even going crafting at this point. Even though I have it. Even though I have it. My luck is right. like, My luck has been terrible. Like, it's just under 50% chance, and there was a time where I was just like, it took me about 7 tries for a 45% chance. And that was kind of infuriating. I know it's a chance, and I could just sit there theoretically forever and not get it. But damn! Like, seriously, so fucking long! Huh. Those double spear. Damn, I'm doing 8 piercing damage, and the armor will just, like, fucking just melt away. Oh, I'm not a tinkerer, though. What do I. Okay. Oh, because I get to go to crystal. No, I can't even do it because it requires level 3 tinkering. I'm confused. Like, I've not encrusted anything, and there's that weird, like, new. I think icon and I don't know what that shit is so I don't know maybe there's a limit to how much you can encrust only seek six uh, six piercing eight piercing oh yeah I guess that works also I don't have any of my spec talents into the dual building yet so I can do more damage once I get that Get my flippy flappy, yes. Flippy flappy, flippy flappy. Look at all this brimstone. Brimstone. I really want to go to the mysterious portal right here, but I'm really fucking scared because I know I'm gonna get my ass kicked the moment I get through there, and I keep forgetting I'm where they go for. I'm pretty sure I just wasted all those points. Oh, there's so much. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't know why I did it. Am I going to get punked again with it? Oh. Okay. Wow. Sweet. I did not know who the fuck I was in that situation. I gotta wait 15. Why are they running away from me? You get your ass from 16 damage already. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck! Still zero viewers. Not really surprised, but I'm not dropping frames, which is... I wasn't paying attention, and I thought I had like a fucking stroke or something. Like, I could not tell what the fuck was happening. I keep remembering to pick up big legs so I can make the omelette that gives you like 50 turns of health again. Which is very nice. Very, very nice. I was told today that I kind of looked like, not today, but kind of roughly around the same time, that I looked like uh, Andy Kau Kaufman. So, Kaufman. I would call, I'm gonna go, I call him Kaufman because it's a German last name, Kaufman. It's to buy, but Kaufman, I would call him. A 
transfer and say said both ways. I look like it. So when I get my uh, decent webcam, whenever the fuck that is, and um, shell out for a friggin' license, I wish I wish that you could just buy the program like if it was just a set price. Buy XSplit, and then you won't have to worry about it. Right? But that's not gonna happen. But uh, once I get my webcam, I will get the program and I'll put it on the little side, like right over here. Yeah, and you can see me. And you can judge for yourself. Like it wasn't just one person. It was like two people, three people, four people actually told me that I looked like him. No one was, no one ever told me that before. It was kind of nice. <laughs> I really love the music of this game, and I don't think you guys can hear it. Oh shit, I turned the sound up really high. Fuck, I need to turn that shit down. Damn it, like, now I don't even know. Was it really loud now? I'm really stressing now. Because, <laughs> like, when I was recording last time... Not last time, oh, it was last time. Last time I recorded Dungeons & Dreadmore, and it crashed on me. The sound was so fucking loud, even though it was so, so low on the settings. So I'm hoping that it, because I pumped the sound up on XSplit because it's not showing any red bar, but hopefully it wasn't too loud, hopefully you guys can at least hear it. But now I just pumped the sound way down, so hopefully you can hear me just fine. Just fine. Hopefully. Hopefully you all could hear me. Fusro Don, he's so, so, so cool. You know, oh my god, fucking potatoes. Just shit out of my face. 29 damage! Damn, I'm doing 29 damage on the first fucking floor. That is fucking ridiculous. It's all that piercing damage. Ah, so awesome. Like, I feel like a fucking champ right now. I can, I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage too because my equipment blows. But, except for my two spears. The two spears are really nice. I think that's pretty much everywhere. Fuck it, you know? Damn it, I'm not paying. Like, I didn't even know that existed. I could not even see it. I'm gonna take the risk. It always takes so long to load these, I don't understand it. Yeah, like, it freezes the game. It says it's not responding. Wow, what the fuck? You see that? I took 13 blasting damage, 12 con flag, and. S That's over. There's no way. There is no fucking way. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I should have known better! I should have known better! God damn it! Oh my god, this is so frustrating! The captain of breakfast cereal! I don't think I deserve such a fucking honor! Mmm. Mmm. God damn it. God damn it. See, I, I beat him once. Just for everyone to know, I have beat him on Going Rogue. So, there. Yeah, at least I'm somewhat okay. I got so frustrated. So frustrating. Is this... Nope. Nope. This is my one that I was playing before, and then I lost the video. What? I, I'm pretty sure I had uh, two things there. Bloodfin, that's a long time ago. I lost a lot of my saves. I don't know where they went. They just went theirs up and disappeared. Also, I like what they did with the achievement room now. And also, it has a hard time loading this. I don't understand why either. But, you can look at the trophies of everything you've collected. Though I've collected some pretty amazing things before. And now they're not here, so I have to refine such amazing things. My fulfillment sword is amazing. 50 slashing damage. That's pretty amazing. It doesn't keep uh, unique items with magical effects, because then that would fill everything like so fast. I wish it sorted better, though. Like I think it's based when you pick it up. I think because I picked that one up recently. I guess I never picked up an amethyst recently. So I think that's how they do it. I wish you could sort it. That'd be pretty cool. And trophies. 
<sighs> Doo -doo. And I like it. it keeps track of how many things you've killed. Even though obviously pretty much anyone who's played this game has killed more than just these guys. It just was introduced in the last last patch. Also the other day I realized you can change the background, which is pretty cool. Oh, I get to name it. Forgot. What am I gonna name it? What am I gonna name it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Got myself an achievement. There we go. It's called the Pixel Bane expansion, because that makes sense. Ah, fuck. I think I'm gonna take a break. See y'all. Might be back, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna be done streaming pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna say it again, even though there's no viewers and there's only people who'd be watching this would be archivers. Um, email me suggestions for games at banepixels at e. At, I can't speak. Brain is like melted from today's work. But banepixels at gmail.com. Uh, suggestions, uh, comments, criticisms, hate mail, mail normal. I don't fucking know. If you, uh, Want me to promote whatever you have? I will. Though, keep in mind, the uh, the audience it's going to be going to is pretty limited. Like, pretty much just me and maybe a few other people. Just letting you guys know. But I will promote, and it's free. I'm not going to charge you, so... Any publicity is good publicity. Pl I can't speak. I am so dehydrated. Any publicity is good publicity. So... Yeah, I'll do that for you, and I'd love to see anyone's art or music that they've made. And I'll do shoutouts too. I'm probably gonna set up a schedule now. I'm probably gonna be, I'm probably gonna stream on Wednesdays at, I said four, I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it at four. And if I change that schedule, I'll change it. I don't fucking know. I like this is my work right now is hectic, and I don't really have it, a set schedule as it is. So, I might work on Wednesdays every now and then, but I haven't really worked on Wednesday yet, so it seems like it's a good, good day for streaming. So then it's more regular and then more people can get, uh, get into this. Also, what's fucking weird as fuck is that I dropped 25 frames on this screen, where I just have pixel made in my email and my art blog, yet I dropped zero frames when I was streaming Dungeons. Wow, so fucking weird. But yeah, I'll be right back. I'm not entirely sure how much more streaming I'm doing. Like I said, I gotta leave soon. But I don't know if I'm gonna play some Dungeons of Dreadmore, so I'm gonna close off Dungeons of Dreadmore. 
And uh, I don't know what else I could possibly play. I would have to reformat it, make sure it runs in a window mode. Maybe I should have just played Dungeon Dragon. Damn it. Fuck. Bad decisions. Bad decisions all around. Uh, I got the X series. It's the space flight games that are kind of simu- simmy in a sense. Um, even though you can't really have a space flight sim because, well, I guess you can, but whatever. Yeah, and I'm, it's taken me a while to get used to the, the whole, all the billions of controls. Maybe I could play... Fuck. Someone already suggested to play DayZ, the mod for Arma 2. And I'm probably going to need it. Like, I want to play it. I want to play Arma just in general, and all the different mods for it. Should be funsies. All the games I have installed aren't really that fun to watch. Like, I don't think Dungeon of Dreadmore is all too fun to watch either. Also, I gotta watch out for, like, indie games that, like, are 3D, because those, those, like, for some reason, something in the code, like, causes my PC to thermal overheat. I never overheated with Skyrim, never overheated with any other, any other game. It's just like, I, I got Orcs Must Die and Orcs Must Die 2, both of those overheat my computer. And the same with Dungeon Defenders. And I don't understand it. Uh, maybe there's some redundant code that's making my PC this like work extra hard. I don't. I, the PC's not all that bad, but whatever. Almost had a mini heart attack, and I thought I didn't unmute my mic, but it is still. It's it's it is unmuted. It is unmuted. Maybe I'll play this little little number. A you know, configuration tool. Let me. Let's go windowed. Hey, it's all set up actually. I used to play this game a shit ton. And yes, that is an actual measurement. Oh wait, I would have to actually reconfigure everything. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh well, I can re- I can do that. Just give me one moment. Yeah. Let me undo that. I love this game. Like, I still do love this game. Put so many hours onto it. I guess if, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, but I have every time I play it now, it's I can't play for more than a few minutes. But yeah, I beat the game. I'm currently on endless. Every time I play it, I end up don't saving. I can't remember what's on what's currently going on like apparently jewelry is priced up let's try to sell a demon blade uh, apparently uh, clothes and armor this is, I guess armor is sold lower that's, that's screen tearing really bad I don't understand why Let's change some stuff. Let's change my carpet. Heretical carpet? No. Wait. Change flooring. Oh, plus eight. That's why I had that set down. It's plus eight. Like, I don't understand why. And then, why are my... Nope. Why are my... Nope. Why? Why isn't anything matching anymore? I don't understand why I changed that. You got the heretical set. I'm staying with the heretical set. Oh, I remember. Because I wanted a balanced store. Like, now I'm going to be complete dark setting. Yep, complete dark. I think I was going for a balance, like... Actually, it was a gaudy light, I think, was what I had going on. But just a little bit of light, because I had the heretical carpet. Okay, she's a she doesn't really like capitalism ho, but she doesn't like paying full price. It's set like that so I can double the price. I don't know if she'll take it at 188%, so it's 
Oh, yeah, okay. She'll pay it. Sweet. Let's get my combo to stay. Yeah, I got plenty of fucking rings, so I'll accept your order. <laughs> All right. she's, she's, fucking, she's not gonna buy it at that. So, got You have to learn special characters. Some will pay more, but most will pay less. If they will not work on the base principle that the game sets forth to you. Price of food has decreased. The price of armor has normalized. Sword is still pretty expensive. I don't understand why. Oh, because it's just swords. That was those. Were, I was just looking at daggers. The music to this game is perfect, but like, I think they don't have it set up. I don't know how loud I should make it. Like, I don't, because I don't have anyone watching. Oh, I have one viewer now. Hopefully that's not too loud. I'm going to be talking pretty loud, and it's probably going to get that really annoying, and I have been talking pretty loud. It's just that I want to make sure my voice carries over the music and such. It said food has decreased, so I have 32,000 picks, and I'm going to buy a shit ton of food. Okay. What do I want to buy? Limited ones are usually the highest priced. I'll buy seven of them. When then you just sit on it. You just sit on them until the price goes up. So I just wasted my day though. Now I have to hold up. Let me make sure that I have stuff up here. Um, got a super armband up there. Popular charm. Purity ring. 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 Gotta make sure that you put things on the windows that represent what's in your store. Right now, it's all jewelry to the one, so one sword. At night, typically. Oh shit. This bitch. This motherfucking bitch. She tries to sell you shit for an overprice and will not buy shit, she ruins combos. So I just say fuck it, 3% base price. Just get the fuck out of my store, I don't want her to come in here anymore. Fucking bitch. It's so loud, I gotta turn down the sound. Ah, you want this, okay. I, I don't... I, I, they, this is one of the characters that you can have when you go adventuring. And if it's a better item, they'll equip it. So you want to make sure that they keep coming in, so that when there's an item that they can really benefit from, they'll actually be in on that day. Notice that she's in here again, because I sold it at 15% base. And see, now she's happy because she's been here twice today, she'll come even more. So that I continue my combo. The more you combo, the more you level up, and the more you level up, the more... See, I could theoretically sell this for 200% base, but I'm pretty sure she won't buy it. So, I'll go 190. Now, if I get one more person, I can combo a level, maybe? I think I could. A hat. I don't actually know if I have any hats. I do have a hat. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my god. You can sell things basically 125%. So I'll just go 15. Because I want to get... See, you get just combo. I just pointed at the screen. I don't understand why I did that. I know you guys can't see me because I don't have a webcam. Oh, she wants a healing ring. Sweet. Let's go, like I said. She's one of the characters as well. See, like, I almost lost her. Like, her facial expect I leveled up. Level up! So... That was pretty good. I don't think I unlocked anything. Look at this. I made so little profit, but my store difference went up. Because I got a shit ton of durian fruit. Let's see the news. The price of armor has decreased. The price of accessories is normalized. Walnut bread is up in price. 
Oh, fuck it. I want level up. I want level up. I want it really bad. I'm pretty sure this is what it... I'm pretty sure it... Walnut Grid. So, let me change my store around. I'm gonna go out and buy... See, at this point, Walnut Bread's pretty cheap. And it's cut down, so I can only sell it for 50% base. Um, but... When you, when it says, it, speak, my brain is still fried. But uh, when they tell you something like that, it means that you can get a rush of people. And if you get a rush of people, you can get just combos up. When you get just combos up, you start getting way shit tons of experience. And when you level up, as I said before, you get higher quality stuff that you can sell, and you can get a uh, greater difference of your store in a positive sense. So I'm hoping that's what it meant when it said walnut bread. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, I can buy it. I'll buy it for 25% base because it's lower. I should go 30. Yeah, he didn't seem too happy. I was really close. Oh, she ordered hats. See, like, I don't even remember. Like, it's been so... Oh, fuck. This is why you always carry low-end uh, products, so that when prices are down, you can deal with this. Um, 60? Okay. She wants a book. Um, let's sell her this fish. Look at that price. Motherfucker. I just made so much money. I just made so much fucking money, motherfucker. Motherfucker! Yeah! So much money. Oh, fuck you. I'm pretty sure it said Omega Walnut Bread. I'm pretty sure that's fucking damn it. Can you just end the day, please? Something metal. That's metal. Uh, double your price, motherfucker. I should go. Mm. And I was close to that one too. It's basically close to the Ah, apparently she ordered some clothes. Clothes. I need to buy some more lower tier goods. It's this situation that you gotta be really fucking careful. Fuck off, little girl. Ruin my just combo. A lot of people are in here, though. Like, a lot more than usual. Well, I can't speak usual. Things like 60% off is 60% of base price is good for old men. Because he got a heart on that one. Fuck you! Ugh, why do I even care? Just leave my store and don't come back. I don't know why I keep doing that. Thank God, I was waiting for that break for the longest of time. And, like, I'm not losing frame. Well, actually, I am kind of. I don't think it likes this game too much, but... It's screen tearing really bad. Well, I guess it's not a new week yet. By one magical hat. So this is how you basically do the game. It's all about turning profit. You want to find the most... You want to keep decent stock on every... Excuse me. Decent stock on everything so you can take orders for things. Like, I need to buy some clothes. So that I can deal with that. If there ever comes a time where I need it, like some scrap plate too. Because you don't want to lose a lot of your store difference on having to fill orders with higher tier stuff. So basically 9,000 for that, 6,000, 14,000, 6,000. That was about 20,000. So I'm going to dump all of my remaining, not all of it, but a good portion into getting this armor. Got ten of them. Is there a new talk option? Oh, because I never talked to him. 
Also, there's fusion, which you use things that you get from going adventuring. Apparently, I can make a rank one shield. Plus six. Look at that. Can I make anything else? Nope. Man, I leveled him up to 43. Damn. Play this game way too much. Also, for that robot lady, she's one of the other characters that you can get, but, like, I have no idea how to get her. I could take him going out, but I won't, because I need to go check the market first. And stock up on some things. Um, I gotta get some treasures. Because I think someone's coming in for some treasures. I don't want to... I got plenty of rings. Like I said, you want to keep some base stock of pretty much everything, just in case. So that if you're getting on a really nice combo, you can keep it going. Um, what is the most expensive dessert? It's a Mont Blanc. Let's buy the remaining durians and fill up on Mont Blancs. And go. Oh shit! Don't have enough to take him adventuring. Oh well. Hope it didn't lie to me. Yeah, it did. Like, I guess it didn't lie to me, I just mistook it. You know what? Fuck it, I just leave my store. I'm not selling this stuff. See, there's a lot more people, I guess that's what it was. It, usually, though, um, when you fill in, like, like, book specials or whatnot, you'll get a little girl rush all buying little uh, fuck I did not listen oh wow apparently that's what he wants I thought it was doubled but I guess not I'm not paying attention oh because I saw the red on some weapon I'm just not paying attention like I said, it got some clothes. Otherwise, I would have to go through my higher-priced items. And I don't want to have to do that. See, with this, I lose a very minimum of my stock price. I could just not sell it. God, fuck it. I'm not selling anything to this day. No. I went up. I don't understand why he said, take it down, and then I went up, and he said, take it down again. Just everyone leave the fucking store. Okay, what is this? Increased what? Holy objects. Damn it. Do, do I have anything that is holy? Is that holy? Like I don't I don't know. Is the thing. Wand kind of looked like it had feathers on it, like angel wings. <sighs> I'm not gonna put anything that's reduced priced. A pretty go-to thing to do, which I do, because rings hardly ever have a change in them, or at least I was like in that sense where I don't have to worry about it. I guess and most of the prices went up. So. But anyway, it's pretty good just to have a shit ton of rings or treasures. Because they're pretty expensive and you can change profit pretty quick. Yep, you're guaranteed at least one sale. Or not, or one buy. Every game day. Or every time you open a shop. The music is game I love too. That's why I don't want to sell 
it's a treasure that you have to go fucking find. No, not holy enough for old men. What am I doing? Like, I keep... I don't... Like, there's been so much increased... Sad, you guys, so 115 is good for her. He is more of a cheapskate. I'm just playing it safe. That's what. Cool. Cool. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. I don't even know if I. You know what? I'll give you 100%. Wait, that's all I have. That's all I have, bitch. I was giving you everything, and you still weren't happy. Man, they really love the fucking healing rings. I get 120 works for them. Some of the time. Like, the, they change all the time. He's the person who tells you to sell it breaking 125% of base class, so you can go higher up on him. <clears throat> night, good night. What is the sore difference of 555? Wait, I thought I bought more than that. Oh, from a person. Price of accessories has increased. Alright, and then just sold all those rings too. Fucking hey. mm -hmm. Ugh, whatevs. Whatevs! You gotta take the good with the bad, I suppose. Hey. Got plenty of sand charms though, I gotta remember that when uh, prices of. Uh, give me a sec before I continue speaking. Just to think. Gotta remember to buy rings and charms. Because I'm low on stock on them, but they do not go on decreased price in long ass time. Three foodstuffs. Got it. I won't remember that. But if you always keep stock, you'll never have to worry about it. Like, ah, oh, shit. I don't have them, they're on the shelves. Yeah, okay. I guess it. I forgot that if they're on the shelves, you can still do it. Yeah. That's. He screwed himself. Fuck you. God damn it. Zero. Yeah, I'm cruel. You fucking bitch. Stop coming in my store. Oh, wow, one thing sold. I'm gonna buy shields. Normalized armor. Good thing I bought that armor. Man, you just buying shit all day today. This game made me really want to start up a shop. Like, no joke. Like, I really want to open a shop. I still do. I want to have my own store. Oh, I can sell this to you. Oh, that's metal. Fuck off, game program. Oh, I'm running low on rings. Like, really low on rings. But yeah, I really want to open a shop. I don't know exactly what I would want to sell. Though. But just a shop in general. Like, I know I can go for 200% on like most people, but I don't want to, like once I start a combo, I don't want to break the combo because at this point in the game, I don't have to worry about paying loans or interest or anything like that. So it's just basically just leveling your character up. And as long as you're putting a profit, it doesn't really matter. Damn it, again, it's the second time today. Get out of my fucking store. Come on, no news alert. Well, I think I'm gonna be done. 
maybe. Um, yeah, I, it's about that time. I gotta get going. Well, it was nice, all y'all. And I will see ya when I see ya. Um, as I said before, there's my email. Email me anything. Literally, you can literally email me anything. And I will probably... Re I'll, actually, you know what? I'll take the time to respond to every email. That's what I'm going to do. Well, my fans of one person viewing right now, and I think I know who that person is. If I don't, I could be wrong, though. But always for my fans. But, yeah, there's my email. You can email me anything. Questions, suggestions, criticism, compliments, uh, hate mail, uh, anything you want me to promote. There it is. And there's my art blog up there, the pixelband.tumblr. And I use art loosely because it's not really good art at all. But anyway, I'm going to sign off. I will, I'm starting my news. I'm going to start this new schedule that I'm going to record just about every Wednesday at 4. And if something comes up then, and I'm not streaming at 4 or around 4, then I'm probably not going to stream that day. But ho hope to see this one viewer at then if they're available and more people hopefully more people start watching now that I have gonna have a consistent show and hopefully I can continue to do Wednesdays at four so remember it Wednesdays at four Arizona time Arizona time okay all right well nice streaming to y'all have a wonderful evening wonderful day see you soon